the link to MTG Burgeoning's Introduction to Plane Chase in the description below. Karasha Foothill's static ability is, basically, giving creatures we control the myriad mechanic. Whenever a creature we control attacks a player for each other opponent, we may create a token that's a copy of that creature tapped in attacking that opponent. Exile the tokens at the beginning of the next end step. Whenever you roll chaos, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. If you do, Karasha Foothills deals that much damage to target creature. This plane's static ability provides opportunity for ending games very quickly. And end them quickly, we shall. If I were playing Plane Chase Commander and I wanted to add Karasha Foothills to the planar deck, then I would construct an EDH deck with a plan to exploit this plane's static ability. What about some possible opponent one-shots? The first creature that comes to mind is Master of Cruelties. The Master of Cruelties tokens that are created by Karasha Foothills enter the battlefield tapped and attacking after the original Master of Cruelties is declared as an attacker. This skirts the Master of Cruelties can only attack alone restriction, meaning that each opponent is being attacked by a Master of Cruelties. Now let's go bigger with Blightsteel Colossus. Attacking each opponent with 11 Trampley Infect damage can end games and play groups rather quickly. It's not a one-shot, but still quite powerful. Attack with Giant Edifage and begin to flood the board with 7-7 seven, seven Trampley Insect Creature Tokens. As tempting as it may be, do not include Phage the Untouchable. If you trigger Karasha Foothills with her, you lose the game. 